Hey everyone, welcome back to Atypical Wealth. I'm Amber Hickman, your LA South Bay Realtor. So today we're talking about the pros and cons of living in Los Angeles. On this channel, you can find super cool tips on how to build wealth using real estate, okay? And I'll be your guide each and every step of the way. Like this video, subscribe so you can get even more content like this because we're dropping some gems today. Today we're gonna talk about what it's really, really like to live in Los Angeles. The good, bad, the ugly, and the beautiful. Okay, positives first. First, we're talking to you about the weather. And stop, do not stop the video. I, get, I know it's a cliche, but let me explain, okay? It's not just the weather. It is what the weather allows you to do and how it drives the culture, how it drives the lifestyle out here, okay? So it's 73 degrees and it's perfect outside in a short sleeve tee, you can walk around, you get to experience the outdoors. People are literally out and about regularly because we don't have to think about what we have to wear. We don't have to think about shoveling snow. We don't have to think about our rain gear, we just, Go. You're gonna see people on the hiking trails. You're gonna see people at the farmer's market. You're gonna see life circulating throughout this city. A huge plus of being out this way, the culture, the creativity. I mean, anything you're looking for in LA, you can find it here. All right, we have little Tokyo, little Armenia. We have, oh my gosh, we have Lamert Park. We have Whatever you want to experience that day, <laughs> you can find here. Food you've never tried before. From one five mile distance to the next, you feel like you're in a different world. And LA County is just so huge that there's just so much to experience. And I can't even tell you all the places that I love. I mean, I'll be here all day. But I stand by this, we have the best Thai food, we have the best Japanese food out here, we have the best Chinese food, we have the best Ethiopian food. So it's not just the culture, it's not just food, it's also just the arts, the creativity. You can do random stuff that's pretty cool here, like you can just go to a taping of The Price is Right and like just be in the studio audience, pull up, like you're gonna be there all day though, so just block out your day. You can go see America's Got Talent live in the studio audience instead of sitting back and watching it on your TV. Just the other day, I actually was hiking in Griffith Park and I literally met Jordan Peele. And it's such a cliche LA story, but I'm, I'm actually dead serious. He was like straight up hiking with his family and I was just like, hey, I love your work. And he was like, wow, thank you, thank you so nice. Okay, so I have told you all about what I love about my city. Now I have to tell you about the negatives. The first thing I have to talk to you about, and this is a serious problem here, homelessness. Homelessness is a real issue. Affordability is at an all time low, okay? It's hard out here for many families, for many people, and I hate to see it, and I, but disproportionately people of color are all, this, I hate seeing it, but disproportionately people of color are here on the streets living their everyday lives and it's sad to watch. Sometimes I, I feel powerless to, to stop the whole situation, but we, we do what we can out here and you see acts of kindness on the streets often and you see acts of cruelty sometimes too. So I, it really can be this place that challenges who you think you are because you might think you're a person that might walk down the street and share with anybody, but all it takes is one time for that to kind of go south before you start rethinking your behavior, what you see as the right thing to do. It actually causes you to dig deep in yourself or worse, get a little numb to it, especially in areas like downtown LA where you're just inundated with homelessness often. Along with the homelessness, you do have poor air quality in many parts of Los Angeles, and that's mostly due to, you guessed it, the traffic, okay? So the environment that you're in is everything, and sometimes you're gonna find that the environment that you care most about is your car, because you're in it all the time, trying to get from point A to point B. Um, remote workers, good for you. I mean, it's getting harder than ever post pandemic to hit the road and stay in a car for two hours plus per day, just trying to make your average dollar. Another downside of living in Los Angeles, Los Angeles City or Los Angeles County, the culture here is hustle. I mean, New Yorkers, many East Coasters, many New Yorkers specifically won't have a problem with that. They know hustle, they know it well. 
but a lot of people that come here from other states are often a little shocked at how hard we work, how fast we move. That fast paced lifestyle might be super exhilarating for some people, but for other people, I mean, for anybody, after a while, there are pockets of time where you just find it exhausting. Even if you move here and you have family or you move away from your family, do not neglect your, your, your peace, your people, your community, okay? Because they're gonna be the ones to help you with this transition and to protect you and to help you remember who you are out here because this place does have a way of changing you if you don't know who you are. If you're dreaming of those sunny days, those drives down PCH, that yoga class and the farmer's market, I love the farmer's market, I have to say. I mean, you get all that here, but it does come with some downsides. And every area of LA County is different. If you learned even one useful tip about moving to LA, the pros and cons of being in this city, go ahead and like this video. I'd appreciate your support and tune in for more. From one five mile radius to the next, you could have complete suburb with kids playing outside and then the next block, the kids literally aren't allowed to go to because that's a bad area, right? So just like any other, just like any other urban area, you have those upscale and you have you have areas that are more desirable than others, okay? So you do need help, actually. You need boots on the ground to actually help you navigate these areas. Somebody needs to know what's going on from block to block, okay? So you might wanna enlist some help deciding on areas if you're considering making this move.